first thing you want to do in order to keep your typewriters in the best shape for the longest amount of time is to keep them covered up when they're not being used or being enjoyed. So what I do is I have covers that I just cut out from fabric and they cover my machines. Uh, they don't look the best but they definitely do the job and they keep the typewriters covered up. Dust cannot get in the mechanism, it can't get on the surface. And uh, if you don't leave these covers on when they're not being looked at or used, then dust will accumulate on the surface and in the mechanism of the typewriter. And if it gets in the mechanism, it'll gum things up if it uh, has oil in it, and even in general, it will gum things up. So you want to keep these covered up, as I have um, right here. If they're portables, you want to keep them in the case unless you have them on display. Just cover them up. second thing you want to do is engage the paper release. On the Royals, paper release is right here. You just pull that forward. And what that does is it um, prevents flat spots from popping up in the plan. And those flat spots occur when feed rollers are slam against, um, well not slam against, but they, they're propped up against the plan. And it, if it stays that way for a long time, uh, those flat spots will start to appear on the plan and that just affects the overall functionality of the plan and the overall typewriter in general so you want to keep those uh, paper releases engaged when they're not being used and if they're not going to be used for a long time second thing you want to do is use two sheets of paper when you're typing. Two sheets will provide the best protection of the plane because if you only type with one sheet you will probably do some damage to the plane especially over time. Uh, it depends on the model because some typewriters have type bars that hit the plane a little harder than others but basically the the one on top should be a good the paper you're gonna print on well actually it'll be on the bottom when you insert it and then the one behind it should be any old piece of paper that's used um, you can change it as you feel necessary. So that's this will keep the uh, platen in better condition because sometimes, especially the period key and the comma key, they slam. They they at least tend to slam through the the paper and uh, can cause indents in the platen. So you just want to use two sheets. I mean, it's so simple to do. Why not do it? Next thing you want to do is keep your typewriters clean and well oiled. I have about, let's see here, five typewriters I'm going to clean, and these will be for sale. And then as soon as you clean these guys, you want to just do some general maintenance every once in a while. So what you want to do is you just want to wipe down the surface. I don't have anything with me right now, but you want to get a cloth, um, lightly, very lightly dampen it, and then of course make sure it dries so it doesn't rust. Uh, lightly dampen that cloth, and you can also put a little oil on any moving joints. Uh, I know the light isn't the best here, but basically let me just get one out real fast. There's certain spots you want to keep oiled, um, well oiled that is, in order to have the typewriter um, perform the best. So you want to oil right in these little slots because that's where the type bars rub against metal. And you want to keep that well oiled because it's, it's a joint and you want to keep the joints oiled. You can also choose to oil these little joints here because that's also part of the mechanism then it'll keep it smooth. And um, you also, what I do, and it's recommended, is put some oil, just again, light drops on these rails and that will keep the carriage moving smoothly. And again, this one, this one is not cleaned yet, but you do want to keep it clean. So oil both the rails right here and then right on the opposite side and that will make sure the the carriage can move freely and a little easier actually when you return the carriage so that's about it for the um, oiling just keep it in good condition and it'll probably last longer than it would without being you know giving that giving it that a uh, little service that I mean you only need that once a month or it depends on how much you use it but for me usually once a month.
last thing I want to do is keep your typewriters in an appropriate environment. Indoors and uh, room temperature is probably the best. If you put them in attics or leave them in cars too long, the uh, rubber platens to feed rollers to feet will melt, and uh, that kind of causes a mess, especially with the platen and feed rollers because they can even melt together, and then when they're back in room temperature or suddenly exposed to cold, they will, you know, freeze solid pretty much. So you just want to keep them inside. I'm going to have them covered up. Uh, inside is the best because if you have it too hot again, those will melt. If you have it too cold, the platen could crack, I believe, or it could just, it's not the best for the machine. You want to keep it room temperature. Obviously, too much heat is probably worse than cold, but again, cold isn't the best. You want it room temperature.